watching Final Score with Wes Moore on Fox 16. The Boys and Girls Club of Central Arkansas is getting ready for a huge night this Thursday. It's an evening with Lou Holtz. Joining us now to talk about the big event is Patrick Presley with the Boys and Girls Club of Central Arkansas. Patrick, first of all, Lou Holtz, man, hey, what a big get. Man, how awesome is that, Wes? I tell you what, we are so proud and we're, we're so motivated uh, to have Coach Holtz with us, the ultimate motivator on many levels. If you've ever seen him talk, you know that's true. But we, are, we feel so blessed because, you know, when we initially reached out to Coach, and there's a pretty cool little Razorback story of how that happened, but when we, we reached out to Coach, we know he's very busy. He did not have to say yes to take a whole night out of his schedule, but he did so to benefit the Boys and Girls Clubs of Central Arkansas. And on top of that, next week on September 24th from 7 to 8 p.m., man, we're going to have some unbelievable ex-great Razorbacks and all of their Lou Holt stories as well with us. Now, how will the program look different this year? Well, the main thing and really the only thing is, is that it's going to be a virtual event rather than, you know, like all of us in a, in a room together, you know, typical pandemic story. We can't get together just like this interview. Unfortunately, we can't be in the same studio. But the beauty of doing it virtual is someone like Coach Holtz could say yes to this and be right there from the comfy confines of his own home in Orlando, Florida, without ever leaving and is giving us two hours of his time next Thursday night, which is really astonishing. It's, he, he has been absolutely incredible to work with. And I just would say this too, Wes, uh, one of the things that I found out from getting to know and work Coach Holt, with Coach Holtz through this, he's been a big believer and supporter in the Boys and Girls Clubs for many, many decades in his career. So how did it happen? What's the Razorback story behind it? How did you get Coach Holtz to agree to do this? Yeah, the, the, I, I, I love sharing this story because it's, it's, uh, it goes way back. So in 1978, when I was just a 10-year-old kid, my twin brother and I went to a Razorback football camp with Lou Holtz when he was the head coach at the U of A. And for whatever reason, Coach Holtz took a shine to my twin brother and I, maybe because we were the youngest guys there and the only twins there, I don't know. But anyway, for out of the kindness and goodness of his own heart, he wrote us a letter uh, about two weeks after that kind of explaining his philosophy on life and the do-right rules, the famous Lou Holtz do-right rules. Well, I've kept that and tried to live by those my whole life. He, he's had an enormous influence on me. During that whole time, my heroes and my childhood idols were two Razorbacks, both quarterbacks, Ron Calcagney and Kevin Scanlon, who I met as just a young kid. Well, when this all came about, I thought, you know, I wonder if Coach Holtz would agree to be part of this and would be our leader of the year, someone who personifies motivating, inspiring, and changing young lives for the better. So after all these decades, Wes, I reached out to Ron Calcagney and Kevin Scanlon, who became co-chairs of this event. They helped me reach out to Coach Holtz. We made the ask, all of us together, and to my wonderful surprise, he said, when do you want me? Let's do this thing. That is awesome. Now, everyone watching tonight, how do they watch on Thursday night and get involved with the, the leader of the year? You got and everybody out there. We're, we hope you're going to be there with us Thursday, September 24th, 7 to 8 p.m. Now, 6 to 7 p.m. is a whole hour Q&A with Coach Holtz. That's for the sponsors of the event. 7 to 8 is free and open to everybody. Here's the way you can watch and take part in this. There is uh, on the Boys and Girls Clubs of Central Arkansas Facebook site, you can just go onto our Facebook site. It's very easy. You can watch the event there and or to our brand new website, www.bgcofca. That's B-G-C-O-F-C-A. Log on there, click on events. It will take you right to all event information, and you can also watch the event from there free 7 to 8 p.m. That's great that it's free for everybody, but I know this is a big fundraiser for the Boys and Girls Club of uh, Central Arkansas. How, how can people, are you asking people to donate? How are you going to make money this year? That, that's right. We, we've had an incredible response from our sponsors, lots of sponsors. Reliance Bank has been absolutely remarkable. Reliance Bank is the presenting sponsor for the event. We've had some other great sponsors like Stevens Inc., Lexicon, uh, Bailey Properties, John Bailey's been amazing, Fred Roberson, David Barnett, so many people. But Reliance Bank has always stepped up and been an incredible supporter of the Boys and Girls Clubs of Central Arkansas. 
If you're not a sponsor already, here's how you can help. When you log on to our website, again, that's bgcofca.com, you will have the opportunity to make a donation and support it. I just want to say this, Wes, we appreciate any uh, a donation to this event. $25, $50, $100 goes a tremendously long way. And I'll say this, even a $250 donation, I would love for your viewers to know what that does. $250, that sponsors a child in our, in our career launch program, matching a child's professional goals and their dreams with a mentor in the local community. So you can see where $25, $50, $100, $250 goes a tremendously long way. I've heard a lot of stories about COVID-19, and, and I mean, it's, it's been rough. It's been tough times. What's it done as far as the fundraising aspect for the Boys and Girls Clubs of Central Arkansas? It, it's been difficult. It's been a real challenge. I would say this, I think, uh, to be quite honest, uh, I want to say a special thank you to our board chair, David Stracely, uh, the president of Reliance Bank. What they have done has been simply remarkable, Wes. They have stepped up in ways that, that I, I can't even, I, I don't have time to stress. Uh, whenever we have, like so many nonprofits, dealt with some pretty difficult issues, can we keep clubs open? Are we going to be able to do it? David Stracely and Reliance Bank from day one stepped up and said, we're, we're keeping clubs open. We're going to serve our youth. We will find a way to make this happen. We will adapt on the spot. And we've been able to do that with incredible folks supporting us like Reliance Bank and others. Coach Holtz is an incredible, inspirational guy. Do you have a little bit of a uh, clue of what he may talk about Thursday night? I do, I sure do, and I don't want to, it, no spoiler alerts here, but I will tell you something I'm really looking forward to, and I, and I got a taste of it last night, uh, talking to Coach Holtz, and man, I don't care how old you are, he makes you feel like you're ready to go play a game immediately, you know, and I know one of the things he wants to talk about is specifically addressing young people and how to motivate and inspire young people. Coach Holtz has a belief that sometimes we think that kids are so radically different today, and you know, uh, I'm guilty of that too sometimes, but he has a firm belief that kids still want to be coached, kids still want to be mentored, and that there is a way to show show love, show tough love, but show love and get the best out of kids today just like you did in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. He's going to talk a little bit about that, and he's also going to talk about something that's very close to his heart, and that is once you start something at any age, never, ever, ever quit no matter what. Now, I can tell you that's going to be a special part of the night. Patrick Presley, thank you so much for joining us and best of luck Thursday night. It'll be a great evening.